they say, he, when he talked to me, he said,
chapter, starting with the 16th through the 19th verse. And it reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.
cross. Yeah. I don't need the bread and the physical because I can just say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I drink the blood. Thank you. thank you, Jesus. I take your body. Yeah. We all have what we need at the cross. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So therefore, we know about the love and we know about forgiveness at the cross. From, but from Isaiah 43, 53, 4 and 5, he said, Surely he hath borne our griefs. Uh -huh. He carried our sorrows. Yeah. But then he goes on in the next verse, he said, He was wounded for our transgressions. Yeah. Yeah. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yeah. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Yeah. So the third point is just, just peace. Yeah. That's what the Lord wants us to know today. It's Yes, Lord. Yes, we have peace because, you know, that Jesus himself exemplified peace in every situation. Uh -huh. When he was in the ship and everybody was in an uproar, he just said, peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was able to speak to the storm. Right. How many of us know that there are storms that are going to come and will continue to come? Yeah. But all we have to do is say, just peace. Just yes, yes. And even as we look and go to Matthew, the 27th chapter, and the 50 through 54 verse, these, it reads, Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, that scripture was read, he yielded up the ghost, mm -hmm. and beheld the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. Yes, Lord. You see, when that happened, they knew something was going on. Yes, Lord. And you see, the earth, the world has never seen an earthquake like the earthquake when Jesus died. Yeah. And you know, every time I read the word, I get a new revelation because that's what the Holy Spirit does. He gives yes. me a new revelation. And it says that the rocks rent. You know, when a rock rent, that means that the rocks were actually taken apart. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but you see, I know that there are some graves that are like granite on the graves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But here, Yes. So 
shalom. Yeah. The well-being and right relation with God, with neighbor, and oneself. You know, going to the lay, I'm a certified lay minister going, and there was this one book, and the Lord just shared this, had me to bring this, and I'm going to do an excerpt. It's called The Rabbi's Gift mm. from Thomas uh, Porter, and I received this book in one of our trainings that we had for, lay, for the certified lay ministers. And um, it reads, once a church had fallen upon hard times, only five members were left. The pastor and four others, all over 60 years old. In the mountains near the church, there lived a retired rabbi. It occurred to the pastor to ask the rabbi if he could offer any advice that might save the church. The pastor and the rabbi spoke at length, but when asked for advice, this rabbi simply responded by saying, I have no advice to give. Yeah. The only thing I can tell you is that the Messiah is one of you. Yeah. I know you know where I'm going with this, Pastor. Yeah. And so he said that the rabbi, and as he went on to say, that here, he said, um, the pastor then returned to the church. He told the church members what the rabbi had said. In the months that followed, the old church members pondered the words of the rabbi. The Messiah is one of us. They each asked themselves. As they thought about the possibility, they all began to treat each other with extraordinary respect on the off chance that they might be the Messiah. They also began to treat themselves with extraordinary care. And as time went by, people visiting the church noticed the aura of respect and gentle kindness that surrounded the five old members of a small church. Hardly knowing why, more people began to come back to the church. They began to bring their friends, and their friends brought more friends. Within a few years, a few years, the small church had once again become a thriving church, thanks to the rabbi's gift. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you, I thank God I don't live in the Old Testament, yeah. where they had to look for the Messiah. Yeah. As we on this Good Friday, you see, it doesn't matter what day, it's a good day. Yeah. Because he rose, that's what's important. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that you see, if we can do as people who don't even know Jesus and be kind and respectful, how much more can we do when we know the Messiah lives in us? The Messiah is in us. It's Old Testament where they're looking for the Messiah. Even Anna the prophetess stayed in the Trump temple. She was about 85 years old, just waiting and believing God that she would see the Messiah. And when she saw him, she said, oh yes, and she started rejoicing and thanking God. But we know that when I look at my pastor, when I look at Sister God, when I look at Brother Hanks, I, any person, I don't just see that person, but I see Jesus. Yeah. I see the Messiah. And the Lord wants us to know that we need to stop looking at a person from the flesh. Yeah. You see, when you come to me in the flesh, that's all you see. Yeah. But the Bible tells me from Romans 10, 9 and 10, if I confess with my mouth, yeah. believe in my 
Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. And I know that many of y'all probably know James Cleveland and Donald Bells. But there's a song they had. They said, look, when Jesus hung on Calvary, yeah. people came from miles to see. They said, if you be the Christ, come down and save your life. Oh, but Jesus, my sweet Jesus, he never answered them. But he knew that Satan was tempting him. If he had come down from the cross, then my soul still would be lost. Oh, he would not come down from the cross just to save himself. He decided to die just for me. Yes, I thank God. For even 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, For God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, yes. so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Yes. It was on the cross Jesus was stained with our human sin. He had never personally experienced sin before in his life, and now he was overwhelmed with sin in his death. God dumped on him. Yes, he did. The sum total of all sins include every act of racism, yeah. every uh, injustice, yeah, yeah. even the uh, generations to come. And the Lord just shared me, we're going to break some generation curses today. Yeah. This is the end of revival. We're going to break some generational curses. So, Pastor, come on. We're going to anoint this. We have some oil here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And we, we, we're going to. We're going to pray. Pastor and I are going to pray. We're going to pray over this arm. And I'm going to know him, and he's going to know me. And everybody else want to join, you can join in too. Come on, Pastor. And I'm going to start this prayer, and then Pastor's going to end the prayer. That's good. That's good. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift this oil up to you, Father God. We know that, Lord God, that you bless, whatever you bless is blessed, Father. And, Father God, I, I just believe right now, Father God, that, Lord God, that every generational curse that the enemy has tried to come against uh, every person, that, Lord, is broken right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord God, that even as people come for the anointing of oil tonight, Lord God, that they will recognize, Lord God, that they are not just being anointed for themselves, but for their child, their children, and their grandchildren. Father, we praise you right now. We glorify you. We plead the blood of Jesus from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. And Father, whatever is not like you, we pray now in the name of Jesus that you would drive it out. For you have the power, God, to deliver us. We pray now in the name of Jesus that by your stripes, by your stripes, hey glory, by your stripes, by your stripes, we shall be healed. In Jesus' name, amen.